Well, we are here with Susie. Uh, this is the Bloody Mary Show, and we're talking about our friends, the black cats, animals in general. Uh, I always thought it was an Asian stereotype to say that they eat cats and dogs, and you told me a story that said that some of the culture does. Repeat that for our lovely audience. Oh, absolutely. Um, so <laughs> the black cats and dogs are supposedly um, known for possessing more spiritual power. So by eating a black dog or cat, you get more of that energy um, passed on to you. So it's just when you're going to the market, um, somebody will select a, a black animal over a non-black animal. And it's interesting because I've talked to people that go to the adoption areas and they will pick any color but the black animals to adopt in this country. But if you're saying if you're going to a grocery where I guess it's legal to serve and sell cat or dog, that that would be the preferred animal. Yes. Uh, you always hear about spells and black cats. And historically, we have many records that things were done. I just thought it really wasn't done anymore. And the fear of letting your black cat out on Halloween was just a fear. But unfortunately, you've had personal experience with some neighbors of yours that have tried to get blood out of your animal, right? Yeah, so... Did they want to kill him? No, they no. Just they just a little bit of blood. Right. Mm, that's nice. And... They said they want to cook him. Right. So, <laughs> um, it was... Uh, supposedly someone who had a haunting in their house and needed some blood to remove the spirit. And so they asked if they could have some blood from Lulu. And You so, said no. No, I said no. <laughs> and then uh, somebody down the street thought she would make good eating because she was black and she was young at that time. Always more tender when they're young, I suppose. But the black is the key. Um, the more exotic, the black cat is talked about more than the black dog, but in the studies about the adoption, it's both black cats and black dogs that are the last ones, and they try not to adopt them out on Halloween. Um, I don't recommend eating black cat or black dog for their power and to try to get your own power from the source, from deity or whatever your belief system is, but uh, there are still cultures that do, and they don't have them as pets, right? They're not pets in the cultures where they eat the dogs and cats, generally. No. You know, so it's America that looks at animals more as pets, and that idea is even foreign in other areas. So it's hard to judge people, but I'll still protect my black cat just like you protected your black dog, Lulu. Right. Thank you so much. Sure.